The food at the square has always been. I mean, it's, you know, a lot of people are singing from a similar hymn sheet these days, but the reality is it is, it is screamingly seasonal, the cooking at the square, and, and it always has been um, for all sorts of incredibly logical reasons. We go to great lengths to ensure that the ingredients we work with are, are, are immaculate. On the other hand, we are a seven day a week operation. We are busy lunch and we're full lunch and dinner, and actually we need our produce on time every day. We're in Mayfair. We don't have half an acre of storage out the back. And so there's, you know, it's, it's challenging. We have the most, we have extraordinarily wonderful suppliers but it, it's difficult also to plug into some of the smallest producers just because they they struggle to meet the needs of a busy urban restaurant um, on, on logistical terms um, but our list of suppliers is probably double the length it was 10 years ago because we do go out there and, and ensure that we're using specific farmers for whether it's the ducks or geese for Christmas or pork because the ingredient is all. I'm an absolute believer in the uh, delivery of, of great pleasure with food and so, so it will never depart from that. But um, I would like it to um, continue to progress, to appear to be completely in keeping with the times. Um, and I would go as far as saying, you know, if I was just, you know, I stand at the pass watching thousands of plates of food go out day in day out at the square. And, um, uh, and the food has progressed in the last year. Actually, it has it has it has changed. You know, we, we just just the way we dress it has changed a bit. Some of the contents changed, and the substance is still the, the same, really. But there are dishes that have been on the menu for years. For example, the, the, the lasagna of crab. I like the idea of having the square classics menu, which will have us, you know, a, 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 you know, four or five courses, five six perhaps of of great signature dishes, forge the reputation that we've that we've made and uh, and sustain it, and then enable us to have a slightly fresher take on the a la carte and say okay right now that we've got rid of all those old timers we can we can we can bring the menu up today i acknowledge that at this level food needs to be cooked with a with a certain amount of finesse and refinement to, to deliver the, the absolute optimal eating experience and generally speaking the, the the menus are full of dishes that are actually quite quite straightforward in, in, in conception. They're refined to the point where they become elegant and sophisticated, but we stop before you, you, you inevitably start to strip away what, 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 what gave the dish its heart and soul in the first place. So it's refined to the point where we think you've maxed out on the benefits of refinement, but absolutely before you start to, to, to pare away what the dish stood for in the first place. But I'm incredibly proud that we're still here 22 years down the line and, um, and still actually this year, you know, if you were to look generally speaking at, at the, uh, you know, the awards and the listings and, the, and the, you know, we are, we are, if anything, as high as we've ever been. And, um, and I'm really proud of that actually, that, that um, given, given the, the, the style of what we do, um, that we are, st you know, we are, we are probably, you know, just, we still do incredibly well. Yeah, we're kind of looking forward to the next, the next decade. I'm not going anywhere. If anything, I want to try and simplify my professional life so that I can continue to, to, to really focus on the square. My head chef of many years, Rob Weston, left earlier this year, um, uh, who was a you know, phenomenal asset for the last 15 years, really. But it provides an opportunity to say, okay, right, what are we going to do? I have a, 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 my head chef, Gary Falks, who's come back, um, is an outstanding cook. Um, uh, but ultimately, is very, is, 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 has a different take to, to, to Rob. Um, the food will always be, it will never deviate too far from my core beliefs, but still to have somebody different to play ball with um, at the top of the kitchen will inevitably, and I want it to have, have, have an impact on the cooking. London is, is unbelievably competitive now, um, you know, in, in terms of, uh, you know, culinary creativity and, and, and what people want. It also is a business, a business environment with which to try and operate in. If a fine dining restaurant is to stay really relevant in, in, the, in the London eating scene, you can't be somewhere near the top, you have to be at the very top. So we have, we have kind of recommitted with a new head chef, a new general manager, um, uh, with a big refurbishment next year that we're going to continue on our upward journey and, and um, keep the square at the very top.